Hey guys, I'm back to talk about Emma Milestones, which were dropped on us all of a sudden today without really any warning as far as I know. Uh, I was not expecting this really, and uh, I was surprised by it. So uh, I just wanted to revisit my Emma spreadsheet, show some updates, and go over the milestones with you a little bit to give you a better idea of what to expect, how much you can potentially get out of it, and do a little bit of planning and show you my plan for what I plan to get out of this uh, milestone event. So of course, you know we have the same thing as last time, High Roller, Save the World, and World Warrior milestones for Emma. Uh, we're also going to have Red Winter and Crimson Affair milestones on top of this uh, starting tomorrow. <laughs> so we're going to have a whole bunch of stuff to watch for. Um, not sure how long that's going to last or how that's going to impact this event. Uh, but it really shouldn't interfere with it, I don't believe. So let's switch over to my Emma spreadsheet. Um, so I, this is the same one that I used the last time I did this. And uh, this is the third iteration of Emma Rotter, uh, Emma's uh, Emma process milestones and uh, shards and really what I was trying to do was be able to predict the number of shards that we need the predictor over here on the left is meant to be your daily uh, shard count per per milestone over 28 days but she should be here about four weeks is what they said so the idea is you can post in your numbers here and figure out how much you should expect to get out of this. However, you may want to work backwards, and that's what I've done. So I currently have a six red or a six star Emma with 122 shards towards that seventh star. So that means I need another 178 shards as shown here. So the first thing you should do when you make a copy of the spreadsheet, if you want to use it, is go ahead and fill in your Emma data here. These bright yellow bright yellow cells here six star four star wherever you are put that in there and then put the current count of shards towards your next star um, you don't need to count up all of that it does it for you right here so the total shards is shown it's 632 if you have a six star with 122 shard count right so it does the math for you and it tells you how many you need which is 178 now, if you come over here to the predictor, you can kind of figure out, well, what do I need to spend every day to, to get the shards from the gold milestones in order to hit that number, assuming I also hit all of my energy and world warrior milestones. If that's not the case for you, maybe you're in a less active alliance and you're not hitting that last milestone for world, world warrior, uh, go ahead and just delete the ones at the end here. I've just spread it out over the week, right? It's seven days, but over six days. I mean, we're usually done with this in like four days. It's just easier to visualize to me if it's just one every day. But in the context of this sheet, it's really six over seven days. And it really doesn't matter whether you get it on day three or day seven. It still counts the same, right? Same with the energy shards. Yeah, you might get them one on the first day and one on the next day, whatever. Anybody who's just doing their basic energy refreshes and a couple of 50 refills will get both shards. So I think those are, are fairly good assumptions to have that people are going to hit those. The thing that you have the most control over though is these gold shards. And for me, I know that I need 178 shards to seven star her throughout this event. So if she's gonna be here for four weeks, I wanna plan for that. And I've already done that in my calculator here. So if you copy it, you'll see my data, right? But you need to put in yours and then tweak it a little bit to figure out what your target is. But my idea is I go five shards, which is 1.825 million gold every day um, for the first 14 days. So I spend that much every day and I'll be okay. And then I just spend up to the 1.25 million a day after that. And I'll get four shards a day. And at the end of all of this, it'll tally up 126 shards from the gold shard or uh, gold milestone shards. Then I get 28 from the energy uh, milestones, and then I get uh, 24 from the World Warrior milestones because we get six a week for four weeks, right? So it's showing the daily total over here, just kind of give you a better idea what to expect, and then the overall total, and then it tells you the average per day. Um, this is all just meant to be referential information to understand what you can target and how you can kind of work with it. 
you know, if you don't have a lot of gold up front, it may be better to alternate your milestones, right? Do, you know, 1.25 million a day for a little bit, and then do 1.825 million uh, for that, you know, every third day or every fifth day. Or, uh, you know, what, it, you just have to figure out what works best for you. And that's the idea of this calculator. Is you can change these numbers, you can play around with it and see what suits you best. So the only real change that we've had in the milestones in this current uh, version of it that just came out today is really they added a couple of milestones at the end here for the gold milestones. And at 2.85 million, you get three level three purple uh, training mods and at 3.25 million you get 3,000 ions neither one of these are worth it in my opinion it's a waste of money but if you're just spending it anyway you might as well collect it it's not a big deal unfortunately they didn't add an emma shard here so i think that's really lame uh, <laughs> i wish they put one in the final uh, uh milestone here like they were doing where it was every other one was an emma shard because um, that would just make more sense it would give people an opportunity to potentially gain you know another 28 shards over the event if they have a enormous amount of gold saved up. <laughs> um, Save the Day and World Warrior have not really changed. They're exactly the same as far as payouts and rewards and everything. Um, so there's really no math loss there. If you need help uh, planning out those at all, I have some helpful tables below each of these milestones to look at. And then I have all my other referential data over here on the right, such as when the event starts, when it ends, uh, blitz payouts and stuff like that for gold purposes and tracking, uh, as well as like blitz orbs and things like that. And then all the costs of different things like how much energy you spend a day and all that. If you want to, you're welcome to reference it, uh, but we don't really need to go over it in detail in the video. So the thing is, when you're thinking about how do you control your Emma Shard uh, output right throughout this event the main thing is gold and so what i've done is i've put a couple scenarios down here um, for different events right so if you alternate say you know the five four five four thing um you know for me i'm not going to do that every day uh, some people like to do five four five four i think it's best to do five 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 and then when you're getting low on cash then switch to fours um just because you may get an influx of gold from an orb or an event or milestones or something that comes up um, during the event and the fact is if you need a few more shards at the end you can't go back and spend that gold in previous milestone days right you need to spend it when you have it and then hope that when you get to the end if you need a couple more you can either buy some gold orbs you could buy an offer you could potentially luck out and get a three million drop in an orb or something right there's just a lot of different ways that things could go and i just don't think that it's necessary um, to alternate every single day unless you're really worried about your gold balance so I wanted to illustrate a few of these scenarios here. Uh, one change I did make is that your daily income is now actually a product of the table up here, which is the estimate for daily gold income. Um, so Veronius has a uh, great spreadsheet resource of just all sorts of information. And uh, I got to see it for his daily gold estimates. And I was missing a few things because things have changed since the last time we had Emma here. Uh, for one thing, I didn't have the ISO 8 campaign energy in there because I just, you know, I don't update these things in between events because why would I? I mean, it doesn't make any sense, right? Nobody's using it. <laughs> but now it's relevant. So I went through, uh, I thought through a bunch of it and uh, I came up with a bit more of my own numbers for these things and my estimates. I didn't want to uh, just copy and paste his. I also didn't want to include uh, any special events and orb calculations outside of what's expected for the daily. Um, so really, with if you're doing Greek raids at 100% every day, you're getting about one gold orb a day plus a little bit from like other drops like the milestones and um, the milestone orbs themselves um, that's there is a little bit of wiggle room here and it's hard to estimate exactly how much you're going to get out of these things so i put mine at 1.25 gold orbs a day on average however that may not be your number right so the cool thing is, if you want to say, I only get about one gold orb a day, you can change that and you see how this adjusts from 200k down to, uh, or down to 200k from 250k there. That's fine. The total switched down here and now my entire calculator sheet here with all these little scenarios that I've 
pre-programmed here, um, they update with this value. So the idea is, is that if you want to get into the nitty gritty details, you can go ahead and change this number specifically or use the little calculator I have up here to adjust. If you're going to spend a whole lot more on energy because you're trying to hit level 80, um, maybe you want to change that from, you know, the, uh, you know, 100 hits a day to maybe uh, if you do another 12 per energy, you can make it 112 or 124. Uh, whatever works for you. So maybe we do that. Maybe we put this at 124 if I'm doing a couple hundred core refreshes a day. That ups my numbers, and you can see how this adjusts here with the milestone estimates for gold. So I think this is a really interesting uh, way of just doing it to try to plan it out. And I think this helps a little bit more than what I've offered in the previous um, versions of the spreadsheet because I just had it on a hard line, you know, million gold a day. I, I had intended to do something like this, but I just never got around to it. So I think this is helpful. So what I've done here is I've plugged in my information. I'm, I was right around 10 million gold tonight when this launched. And so I put 10 million in here in my first one, these yellow... Um, cells are what you should be using um, you can you can play with any one of these that you want um, they're just preset scenarios to show and demonstrate you know how much gold you need so in my scenario I know my target is 178 shards because up here I put in my information and that's what it told me because I'm trying to hit seven stars right so I'm going for the five shards a day for the first 14 days and you can see that here right and then four shards a day after that so I need to have a balance of a daily balance of X, which is this daily bank to meet that goal. And as long as it's in green, we have not gone negative, right? If we go negative, right? Let's say we up, uh, uh, front load this a bit too much and we go for 666 shards here to start. Uh, you can see how my gold drops significantly for the back half of this, right? I'm going too hard, too fast, and I can't make it up, right? So that's where you want to come in here and you just want to adjust it to where you're hitting those milestones at a little bit more even pace and you're not going to drain your bank account throughout the event. That's the idea behind this too. So if you adjust your daily income to be what you think your actual average intake is, you know, maybe you're in a silver alliance and you're not getting as much gold from your war victories and losses as me. Well, you can adjust that down, have it populate here, and then readjust your daily spend uh, expectations. Um, and if you are starting with a low bank number, uh, maybe you only have a million in the bank and no gold orbs, you know, waiting around for you. Uh, maybe you want to adjust that and you do want to do lower numbers. Maybe you do want to do something more like, you know, uh, you know, 825 a day and then 1.25 and then, you know, copy that down here. You can copy and paste that over. And you can see here, you know, with like, say, uh, let's, let's switch this to 2 million, right? Um, you can see I, I can still make that work, right? In fact, I can, you know, make it work with 1 million too, uh, just because my daily income is pretty solid. So if you think your daily income is at least 1.25 million a day, then you should probably do that at least, right? And that's pretty sustainable um, if we're projecting our income correctly. So you can see how that would work. And then the total shard count, so that tells you how many shards a day to expect. Total over that time, how much gold you've, in, you've made over that time and how much gold you've spent. Um, you know, you can compare these two numbers and see the difference, which is really important. And uh, that should equal your last value of your daily bank, <laughs> whatever the difference is. And then I'll tell you your shards. Now, something that's kind of interesting, I thought, was, you know, the Mega Whales can make 220 shards total. If you're maxing your six shards a day every single day, but you need 34 million gold saved up or about that to do that comfortably. And even then at the end here, I'm projecting about 680K in the bank at the very end. And that's a hitting the milestones exactly as well. Um, you're gonna probably have some overages. You may have some accidents where you train too much. It just happens. Um, but hopefully that, you know, you'll get a little bit more gold here and there from other events and maybe payday comes up and helps give you, you know, another 2 million gold. Um, but that, you know, is one thing. If you're just trying to unlock her at four, uh, four stars, uh, you really need about 9 million to start the event to do it comfortably and uh, hit that 128 mark from the gold shards, right? And then 180 total is what you get with max world warrior and max energy. 
Uh, if you have zero gold to start, well, uh, just to kind of level set expectations, you up front probably can't spend too much that first day, so I put it at 8.25 for three shards, and then you can comfortably spend about the 1.25 million a day, assuming your income is pretty stable around that level. Um, if it fluctuates below it for a little while though, then you're going to be hurting trying to hit that last one. Um, but with that um, amount, it actually affords you the option to potentially hit like a five shard here or there. Or if you want to just keep it comfortable and relax, you know, stick with the four shards a day. And that'll give you a little bit more uh, income to kind of finagle around your milestone usage per day. So that's it. That's the idea. I think this is really useful. I think it's important to, you know, set your expectations for Emma. She's a really, really, really important character. And you should get in here. You should make sure that, you know, whatever your next level, star level or two is that you are targeting them correctly and setting your expectations for gold spent per day because that is the primary factor when you're trying to figure out what to do and what to use with this. So if you guys have any questions, please ask in the comments. Uh, I'll be happy to answer. Um, and we'll, we'll figure this out together if you guys do have any problems with it. If you have any suggestions or improvements for it, uh, please let me know. But otherwise, uh, please copy it, enjoy, use it as you like. And uh, I hope you get some very big Emmas because she is an awesome, awesome character to have in your roster. So y'all take care. I'll see you later.